Welcome back to News Channel 3. A doctor right here in Kalamazoo is focusing on tough problems women face medically. It's something some women don't want to talk about, and we're trying to break down that stigma this morning. Joining us this morning is Dr. Roger Beyer. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning. So you specialize in incontinence. Now, right. is this something that some women are kind of embarrassed about and don't want to talk about very often? This is a real difficult problem because it's very common. More than half the women will develop incontinence or leakage of urine in their lifetime by the age of 50. The problem is it's so common that most women think it's a normal process of aging, so they don't do much about it. They learn to tolerate it. They just suffer in silence. Exactly. So what causes it exactly? The most common cause is thought to be childbirth, but there appears to be a lot of other factors that are involved in it. Uh, lifestyle can be one of them. If you're a smoker, you got that chronic cough in the morning, you literally can blow out your bladder. Wow. Uh, so th those are the sorts of issues that uh, make this become such a problem in their life. And I've learned too over the years that some diseases like MS can also lead to incontinence as well? That's right. There's neurogenic type of bladder problems, Parkinson's, MS, uh, spinal injuries. Those are all very common causes. Not common, but can cause uh, problems with urinary incontinence. So if there's a wide range of issues here, how do you treat it? Well, there's a multitude of ways of treating these conditions. First thing you have to do is a very careful history and physical on these patients, and then you use the testing that you have uh, depending on what their history is. So if there's a, a real problems with the bladder, we'll focus on the bladder. If there's a real problems with uh, what we call pee, poop, and sex is what we function with, but problems with leakage and poop, we deal with the testing that looks at that too. So the treatment that you're talking about, can it take years? Is it an outpatient, quick fix kind of type thing? Uh, some of them are quick fix. There was a major breakthrough in incontinence a number of years ago with a very simple 10-minute operation that solves what we call stress incontinence. Uh, we use physical therapy. We use a whole host of treatments for this. It's all really geared to the individual woman because everybody's different. Well, that's positive. I mean, for some women who maybe are watching this this morning and they've been waiting to maybe, you know, go in and get checked out, is there, I mean, what can happen the longer you wait? Is there any negative impact on the female body at that point? Or? We really don't know that answer for sure, but it appears to be that it progresses. You see this problem get much more common as women get older. If you look at the issues in nursing homes, one of the major reasons for women being admitted to skilled nursing homes is the leakage of either urine or stool or both. Mm -hmm. Usually with a little dementia or Alzheimer's, but it's the incontinence that the family can't tolerate. Sounds like a lot of women are being impacted every day by this, and it looks like you guys are leading some research to try and fix this problem. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, we're a group of an international team that's using 3D ultrasounds to actually uh, study the various muscles in the vagina and we're now developing techniques to be able to fix those muscles. So we're changing the way we've done this for the last hundred years and the outcomes appear to be coming in very good. Wonderful. What can we see maybe in the next five to ten years then? I think you're going to see a more focused look at how to fix the specific problems that are in the woman's pelvis and no longer just throwing whip stitches in. Great news. Doctor, thank you very much for sharing your expertise with us this morning. Well, thank you for having me. Absolutely.